Hello everyone, myself Siddhant. In this session, we will talk about how to process a, a large data sets, the file containing uh, lakhs of records. Okay. okay. So to uh, to process that, we have to we have to enable this streaming. We we'll take the help of a streaming concept. To enable the streaming, we have to use two properties here. One is a streaming property. Okay. Uh, what streaming property does it? It will it will convert the uh, input source in the form of a stream. It will read the source data in the form of a stream, okay, as a stream, the first thing. And second thing, we will use the data deferred property in the data wave, okay. What it will do is the output uh, of the data wave transformation, it will convert into a streaming and uh, it will send it to the next processor okay? or without uh, storing into a memory, okay. The advantage of this is, uh, mules, this is that it will enable to process the data faster and consume fewer resources than the default processes for reading and writing the data. Okay. And uh, for streaming, uh, streaming uh, is only possible for the, some of the data, uh, data formats like uh, XML, CSV or the JSON. Okay. And the streaming, what it does it, it accesses the each unit of the stream sequentially each unit in the sense uh, if we have a, a array of records okay in array of records each object is one unit okay so it 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 converts that uh, each object one after one another sequentially okay if we are uh, taking a csv as a, a file it will consider each record as one unit and convert into a stream sequentially if it is an XML, the collections with the repeating element is there, right? Uh, orders within an XML payload, uh, within orders, the multiple order order. So the so each will be taken, uh, converting to a stream and sequentially. So some some where we might get afraid that if might if we might lose data when we enable the streaming. No, it is not in the case. Okay. You so it is not in the case. Let's see here. So, what are the changes we made? If we are pulling a date, uh, the large file using only file update, if we go to the MIME type, we have a streaming property. Uh, we can uh, we have enabled the streaming property. We can keep it as a true, which will read the source data in the form of a stream and can. And here we are using data wave transformation uh, in the output. We are using a parameter called deferred is equal to true. Okay, which will uh, convert the output in the form of a stream and send it to the next processor without storing into the memory e, uh, okay, for faster processing. Okay, to check whether to check uh, whatever the transformation we are doing for a particular payload or whatever it is, right? If it is stream capable or not. For that, uh, we have provided uh, these uh, extra parameters here. Okay, we can uh, we can keep it or we can ignore it, but it is good to have here. Okay, then we have used for each. So if you want to set, if you want to split a large file into smaller files, what I have did is uh, I kept the batch size as 10,000. So it will uh, segregate 10,000, 10,000 and write into a single, write into one file. So it will splitting basically as a file into multiple files. Okay, otherwise, yeah. We can do, we can have a necessary transformation in business transformation, this transformations and write into a file. Okay, 10,000, 10,000 records, it will keep on writing. Okay, so this is how was you, this is the use case, um, how you can, and how you can enable streaming and process the large set of data files. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's all about this session. Okay, if you have any questions, you can ping in the, you can do comment and um, I'll be replying. Okay, thank you all.